Uh, thank you very much uh, to all the members of Knesset for your leadership, for the words that we've heard so far today. Uh, Zahava Galon was a keynote speaker at our conference in Washington just two months ago, and I think everybody can understand why she has become such a rock star in uh, our world uh, in the United States. I'm very pleased that I'm in this country often enough that this is the second time you've asked me to be here. Uh, there's only one person from America who's in this country more often than me, and that's the Secretary of State, John Kerry. I hope that by this time you have come to see just how serious and committed uh, Secretary Kerry has been. I know there were many in this country and many in my camp in the United States who, who doubted the skepticism, the cynicism that met Secretary Kerry's effort six months ago, nine months ago. I hope that you see today that it is President Barack Obama, it is Secretary of State John Kerry who are committed to seeing an end to this conflict. They recognize that while there have been prior efforts to solve this conflict and there has been failure, failure is not a reason to stop trying. Failure is a reason to try even harder with more determination and more engagement than ever before. I'm not here to tell you that success is guaranteed, but I will say that success is possible. So my first message to the conference here today which long ago recognized all the arguments that Secretary Kerry is making about how important uh, this issue is for the future of the state of Israel, is that you must become part of the chorus that is working to make success more likely. You must leave behind the skepticism and the cynicism that seems to naturally flow to these efforts. This time can be different. The determination of President Obama and the determination of Secretary Kerry are different. The time and the resources and the staff that the Secretary is devoting to this are different. I would argue there are many other factors different as well. The chaos in the region. Some people say that is a reason not to move forward. But I say there is a strong argument that there is no better time to deal with these tough issues than when the rest of the neighbors are distracted by their own problems. This time can be different because Hamas has been weakened by the developments in Syria and Egypt and Abu Mazen is in a stronger and more solid position than he has been for some time. This time can be different because of the politics in this country, which are different and more favorable at this time than before to support for a two-state solution. More members of Knesset support a two-state solution than ever before, and we can push the Prime Minister, as you have heard today, towards making the critical and historical decisions that are necessary. This time can be different because Secretary of State Kerry has built support in the Arab world because of the serious efforts that, Sen that General John Allen are making to develop a security regime that works for the state of Israel and for the Palestinians. Because it can be different because of the international pressure that is growing on Israel to recognize that the status quo is not sustainable. Continued occupation will lead to greater international isolation and growing boycotts and sanctions. Altogether, there is more momentum today towards a two-state solution than there has been in such a long time. But there's one thing that we need. We need popular support. The Secretary has called the movement that is required the great constituency for peace. Peace will not come if the majority of the people who want it remain silent. Peace will only come if people who understand it is necessary are organized, if they are loud, and if they demand action from their leaders. So the message today, J Street is committed, working with our partners in the United States to help build that great constituency for peace and to supporting the President and John Kerry as this moment of decision comes, possibly within weeks or months. Israeli leaders, Palestinian leaders, they will be presented with a time to say yes or no, and for significant decisions about whether or not to move ahead on this path. It is time for you, it is time for Israelis to begin to rebuild and energize that great constituency for peace and make sure the leaders here know the depth of the support that exists for this effort. One final message. I want to emphasize how important it is to the relationship between the American Jewish community and Israel that the two-state solution be achieved and the occupation be ended. 
There are dramatic changes taking place within the American Jewish community. A new generation of Jewish Americans is emerging that is no longer willing to provide blind and unquestioning support to whatever policies the government of Israel chooses to pursue. There remains a deep and emotional bond between the Jews of the, of the United States and our family here in Israel. And the depth of that bond is grounded in a set of values and a set of principles about what it means for Israel to be the, Jewish, the national home for the Jewish people. We raise the children of our Jewish community with deep pride in our identity and grounded in those values and principles that shape for them what it means to be Jewish. But as our children grow up and they look at the occupation and they look at the expansion of settlements and the treatment of the Palestinian people, they ask how and why is this happening in the national homeland of the Jewish people. For the sake of our children, for the sake of an American Jewish community grounded in the values and the principles on which we believe we in America have not only a right but an obligation to speak out about our interest in seeing this conflict end in two states for two peoples. The absence of peace, <laughs> the absence of peace and the perpetuation of the status quo and this ongoing conflict and occupation damage not only the state of Israel and its future, but the American Jewish community as well. And that is why we at J Street will, are here to work alongside you shoulder to shoulder, shoulder to shoulder to push for success in these new efforts to end the conflict and continue working until we bring this conflict to an agreed upon and just conclusion. J Street remains deeply committed to being your partner and your ally in building the great constituency for peace. Thank you very much.